guys, welcome to another Cascade Gaming Diablo 4 Nightmare Dungeon video. We are back into the 99 Faceless Shrine, trying to get some redemption with my Charge Bolt Sorcerer. So last time we were in a 99, we came really close, but we ultimately failed. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a redemption run. I did record this like a week ago, so you'll have to forgive me if I've completely forgotten what I've done. Um, inevitably, I'm going to die at some point. That's that's kind of a given once once you're up into the 99s but you know um i think i think i did this one okay because i don't think we had a really terrible affix on it so like that's that's the thing i've got another i've got another one coming up for you guys with a um i think it's a, a stormman's wrath oh and it was it was atrocious it made me so angry when i was playing so i'm not gonna do um a video recording of that one but I might do I might do a little voiceover from time to time with me just going, oh my god, I can't believe I did this. But we'll see how it goes. So we're not doing too bad in this one so far. And it's not a super long dungeon, so I'm 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 hoping that we did okay. It's like see one of the benefits of short-term memory loss is that you can play something like this and then you kind of forget everything that you've done in it except for the notes you've got written down which says you did a 99 faceless shrine and it doesn't say the word fail at the end so you know that it gives me hope <laughs> so it's like oh maybe i succeeded maybe this is a good one okay looks like we've got volcanic right there we go see that's a problem of putting so much stuff down on the ground the, the effects of your spells completely cover the effects of the dungeon affixes. It's really bad with um, with my Meteor Hydra build, the seasonal one that I'm doing. Because um, everything's fire on the ground, you can't see anything. So I would definitely never do like a Death Pulse or anything like that. Um, or Drifting Shade with, with, that, with that build. It's just... It just seems it just seems a little bit too dangerous with all of the all the effects everywhere. Um, but this girl, she's she's tough enough to withstand um, getting caught in getting caught in some volcanic. All right, do I touch this shrine? I do, and it's cursed. Of course it is. <laughs> At least I got a little bit of conduit. I'm so gonna die here. I'm so gonna die. I can just. I can just feel it in my bones, okay? Maybe I won't, but on honestly, the balance of probability tells me that, yeah, I so die. I, it's it's coming back to me. A werewolf kills me with like ten seconds to go. Ah, oh, stupid shrine. Why do you? Why do I keep touching the shrines when I know that nine times out of ten the bloody things will be cursed? Oh my god. Alright, I think I died. Yeah, just there, see? Slain by a werewolf. What did I tell you? Um, 10 seconds to go. <laughs> what did I tell you? Oh, it's like... It's like I just can't resist. Like, at least I got mastery. Like, but yeah, it's like fair and good, obviously, getting mastery out of it. But still... It's just like slain by a random werewolf, too. It wasn't even an elite. Like, come on! Like, what is going through my brain? Nobody knows. Alright. Let's get down some goodies. Finish killing him so that we can get the presents from from that. What did we get? We got some sigil powder. That's that's about the only useful thing that we got. I'm running so low on sigil powder on this character at the moment. I think I've got enough for, like... Oh, I don't even think I've got enough to make any sigils at the moment. I think I've just got like like six sigils in my bag. Or six sigils in, in my backpack. And that's about it. So I'm going to have to run some low levels maybe to, to try and get um, just extra sigil powder. Which I suppose won't be too bad because they'll just be like breeze throughs. But you know you'll have to do a full clear if you want to get the sigil powder since they drop randomly off everything. So I don't know. 
I've actually been doing whispers to get uh, to get more sigil powder and sigils. So, anyway, so I died to the shrine, obviously. So we don't actually count that in the death tally, right? Like that's that's not included. That's like a separate event. So really, no deaths in the dungeon so far. I don't know. Call it girl math, but it adds up for me. Like, I think it's a logical standpoint to basically say, you know what? You didn't die to an actual dungeon mechanic or enemies that typically in the are in the dungeon. You died to, like, a random cursed shrine that you could have not clicked on, and therefore if you hadn't clicked on it, you wouldn't have died. So it doesn't count? Yes? Maybe? Look, I'm just telling myself it doesn't count. It makes me feel better. Alright, let's go to this... Chamber of Purging. Definitely looks like Chamber of Purging here. And I just love I love Unstable Cards so much. This this build is just it's so incredibly fun when you get decent gear. So I'm running almost all uniques. Um Except for my except my chest and my gloves, pretty much everything else is unique. So I've got shakers, obviously. Um, I'm running Tibbles Will for my pants. I think I think I'm still running Tibbles Will for my pants. Yeah, I'm running Tibbles Will for my pants. Um, I'm running Flick a Step for my shoes. Controversial, come at me, but it actually works really well for this build. Um, I've got the Staff of Lamb Essence. Which is decent, and I've got green gems sitting in that. Uh, I'm, I've got Esidora's Overflowing Cameo for my neck. Um, then I think I'm running Talrasha's Iridescent Loop and Ring of Starless Skies for my rings. So Talrasha's I could, you know, take or leave. Um, if I pick up something better, I'm I'm down for using that. Um, but it seems to work well for me at the moment. So. Um, on my on my chest and gloves, um, I'm obviously running running a perfect dis disobedience on my chest, um, and I'm running I don't know something that does extra extra damage for my for my unstable currents. I think it's the, it's the one where um, if you if you under unstable currents is on cooldown, you've got like a a twelve percent chance to get a free cast of it, um, which I think is pretty good. It seems to be working well since I changed it over. I actually only changed it over in the last few days, um, but it seems to be working really well. So, you know, thumbs up for that. Just in case you're wondering what I'm what I'm um, running at the moment. And pretty much everything is perfect or close to perfect roll. So that's what, you, that's what you're looking at. Uh, for, for this particular build. I could not tell you what I'm running on my on my Hydra Meteor at the moment. It's because it's basically just been a case of run the best of what you've got until you get what you need. And I haven't really decided what I'm what I'm aiming for in terms of gear for that build, for that uh, for that character. But I do have plenty, uh, plenty of uniques there. So I'm like, oh, good, good. Um, got like an okay Tibbles. So I could definitely get a better Tibbles. So that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I definitely want some, do some more pure pure fire damage, and definitely need. I think I've got a perf a couple of perfect disobedience rolls on some some of the gear. So I'll probably. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got one on my gear, but we'll just have to wait and see. Alright, so we've got one more Blood Obelisk to go. This is good. I haven't died. And it's, it, this is actually cracks me up. So, I'm like, I'm in here. I'm not having too much trouble. Yet, as soon as I go to a 100, I step one foot in the door and I get one shot. It really just depends on what 100 you get. 
because some of them some of them are so much better than others in terms of the enemies that you have and um i guess the what do i to say like the enemies that you have and the spells and the, the types of effects that are being used like the ones with poison are awful and then you know then you've got other ones like this one where it's like sort of mostly fire and lightning and they're not too terrible it's like all the stuff is like undead spiders things like that that always always seems to absolutely destroy me so i'm just kind of hoping that this uh that i pick up maybe maybe some decent 100s and also mother's judgment who knew how much of a pain in the butt this one could be oh my gosh so i got i got another run with um Yashari Sanctum has Mother's Judgment as well, and I got Stormbane's Wrath. And I was spending so much time focusing on trying to get away from Stor from the friggin' gigantic Stalker Stone that I was not paying as much attention to Mother's Judgment as I should have, and I, I died, and I was so angry. Yeah, just now you can see me just like frantically pressing escape instead of tab. So tab is my healing healing button, by the way, because um, I use I use my razor Naga. No, I'm not sponsored by a razor, but I use a Naga. So I've got all my key, all my keys on the side. So basically, I have one hand on my keyboard, and it's just to hit tab for um, healing potions, and the rest is just rest is all on my keyboard. Uh, I've rest is all on my mouse. So. Yeah, every now and then, I like I'll move, I'll move my hand up and down the keyboard, and it's just like, hey, you're pressing the wrong buttons. It's like, god damn it. Yeah, so occasionally, um, I'll just like, I'll just start panic, uh, panic button pressing, and I will hit like escape or just other random stuff. But that's why I had to keybind my healing potion to, to tab, because instead of hitting Q, I kept hitting tab and bringing up my map. Which is, uh, yeah, very silly. Very, very silly of me. But anyway, here you go. Successful redemption. Mother's Judgment is going down in right now. So there you go. So we've redeemed ourselves. We can do the Faceless Shrine. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope that you will tune in for some more videos. I've got, got quite a few more coming up. And plus, we've got season four coming out very soon. So it's just going to be excitement all around. Um, anyway, if you liked this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Um, and, you know, keep watching, leave me comments, say hi. I respond to, I respond to all of your comments. So, you know, feel free to say hello. Um, and if you want to uh play if i'm on on the same time just you know send me a message i'll add you on battle.net and we can hang out um anyway so lots of love uh like and subscribe and <laughs> i will catch you guys really soon bye for now